this is a video which I pretty much just want to um, put another video in my, or another installment in my Ethical Naturalism series, which I had previously wrapped up last year. Um, I have like about 14 um, videos in that little series in my ethics playlist. But um, I recently made a video called Moral Naturalism in Science, and I, I was kind of thinking about like, well, how um, if we were going to have a, a philosophy of science, which um, we would all, we would only do philosophy, which could be verified through experience, and uh, if we if, and if we couldn't verify it through experience, then we would, then we wouldn't do it, which which might mean which might, which might mean we would throw out ethics or aesthetics and uh, metaphysics. So um, <clears throat> so like basically the, the whole thing there is like I was thinking about like how. Um, Philosophy is kind of like a talking about the how and the how and the what of science, and as to how science would kind of work out. Thinking of philosophy in that kind of metaphilosophical light, um, as as it's sort of like a a uh, a uh, speculation about how science works and how to gain more knowledge about the about the world around us. So that would only mean probably that we would only do things like epistemology and uh, philosophy of science and philosophy of language and a little bit of st stuff, stuff, stuff like that. Stuff, stuff, stuff that we can like, you know, using a logical positivist term, verify through experience. So I was thinking, um, if one is a ethical naturalist or a moral naturalist, uh, what, that, what that means is that, is, is that, is that you think that, um, that uh, moral facts or ethical facts are natural to, to to the world, and we can and we and we can find out about uh, we can learn about moral facts or or or, or ethical facts, just like just, just like just like we can learn about like chemistry and physics. Um, and if you aren't a naturalist of ethics, then you then you have to then if if you were gonna um, make philosophy is like a mostly a a philosophy of science, then you just have to throw out ethics and aesthetics. So um, that's pretty much like um, I guess I I really do think about philosophy that way. I think about philosophy as just um, <clears throat> sort of a, a backbone of science. I think science broke off of a philosophy in uh, ancient times, and uh, branches of science still come out of philosophy. Sometimes even like a Neuroscience, like relatively recently, broke off of of uh, philosophy and became science. Oh, oh well, a part of science. <clears throat> so, I think of philosophy is just like a backbone for science. Um, philosophy is figuring out how we're going to gain more knowledge about about the world around us. So then, the question would be if we if if we were going to like I guess make philosophy totally in this light and change philosophy and make it only. Only, only like that. I would think that most of most of metaphysics would be tossed out. Aesthetics would probably be tossed out. But then I was thinking that, that ethics would be tossed out as well. But then I got a comment on the video by a YouTube user named Enrique Fake Name Fake, fake, fake Name Iglesias. That's the, the YouTube username. It, it was called Enrique Fake Name Iglesias. <clears throat> and um, basically he was talking about positive psychology and how through that, you know, you sort of could be a ethical uh, ethical naturalist because you could sort of, um, you know, <clears throat> recognize through people's positive positive experiences, um, you know, good ethical behavior and unethical behavior, or you know, um, you know, um, I guess um, positive po positive psychology, basically reading uh, people's positive experiences, uh, reading, um, their experiences as to how, as to how they relate to the world around us and how, <clears throat> and in that, in that, in that way we could relate to ethics basically and figure out what sort of behavior towards one another is positive and figure out what towards behavior towards one another is negative and, um, thus that, in that, in that way, um, Ethics could be, or like basically, uh, 
you know, ethics and morality would be natural or a, you know, a natural fact, just like science, you know, physics and chemistry. So um, <clears throat> that's kind of what I'm thinking about right now. And I personally think that um, if such a science, a, a psychology could be refined and figured out and entirely, you know, um, um, I guess uh, ironed out and figure out how we can scientifically um, gain data as to when somebody is having a good experience as, as a result of somebody else's action upon them and when somebody is having a, a uh, negative experience as, as, a, as a result of someone's action upon them. So um, <clears throat> that's just kind of what I've, what I've been thinking about. Um, if you um, have, if you want to debate this or think about this or if you have a question or anything like that, um, please comment below. I'd love to discuss with you. Thank you.